Hello, my sexy and beautiful people of the internet. My name is Diego, also known as the Chilean Retro Gamer. And welcome back to the All Laughter Chronicles. Here on No Nintendo Love. Starting some Metal Slug first mission on the Neo Geo Pocket. Rebel Army's weapons R&D facility found. Send out reinforcements. And as you can see, here's a huge map with lots of levels. Not all of them are or have the same length. Some some of these stages are kind of long, some others are actually kind of short. I don't know how long this game is in general, in terms of time specifically. Send Metal Slug and Unit of Development into battle. Mission. Destroy weapons R&D. Facility ASAP. Good luck. So yeah, this is a little bit different from the um, Neo Geo slash arcade Metal Slug games. Mission Zero. Emergency Mobilization. Of course, I am going to be using my save states. So, as you can see, uh, this Metal Slug game, first of all, uh, the gameplay is exactly the same. The controls work exactly the same. I think with the start button, you change uh, from the actual weapon you're using to the bomb. Since you have only two action buttons, not three. Usually in the regular Metal Slug games, with a third button, you throw your bombs. Or you shoot your cannon if you're using a tank or the Metal Slug. Uh, but in this case, you need to switch to the bomb and then use just the regular shoot button in order to use those bombs against your enemies. But yeah, in terms of playability, this is exactly like any other Metal Slug game, obviously with a little bit of downgraded graphics because of these obvious reasons and playing a, a portable version, portable console. Kind of similar in terms of characteristics to the Game Boy Color. As a matter of fact, this came out in 99, pretty much where the Game Boy Color, or when the Game Boy Color was um, completely um, active in the market. So you can pick up different weapons, the same ones from the, the actual Metal Slug games, the rocket launcher, the um, heavy machine gun, the shotgun. Did I mention the shotgun already? No, I didn't. At least, I play a little bit of this game, a couple of stages, and basically, those are the ones that I ended up picking up. So yeah, this is not based on a life system, oh sorry, on a, on a extra lives system, it's based more of a, on a health bar. And you can actually change the amount of continues that you want to use in, um, in the game. I think by default you have up to 9 continues, which in a way is basically 9 lives, but again, you can take several hits and you can recharge your your health bar by picking up food. Well, in the case of uh, if I'm using the Metal Slug like now, you basically get your energy back by picking up gas. Again, just like the actual games. Here it is. And these appear kind of fast, so you have to pick them up, like, super fast. Another element that I realized uh, about this uh, particular version is that... Well, I actually played this uh, Metal Slug section and I actually lost. I lost all of my energy. And, but you don't die right away. But you become a prisoner, actually, and you have to play another mini section in order to get out of the um, of that prison but it's actually part of this the very same level but you have to play like a, an extra mini section as punishment without any weapon you have to use only your your knife as punishment for having lost your your mirror life for becoming a prisoner basically so as you can see um, there are different game modes being featured from the very beginning. I wasn't just shooting by myself, but I also was using things like the, the Metal Slug, now the plane that appears only like in uh, half of a level, for example, in, in the actual Metal Slug games. I'm sure in here they're going to become a lot more common. All of these uh, game modes, these um, different vehicles. Okay, actual boss battle. Not all of the levels have bosses. That's basically what it meant by 
that at the beginning that some of the levels are actually shorter than others. This was kind of a long one. Basically for you to get used to all the game mechanics, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much what they had in mind. So yeah, I'm gonna use bombs against this guy. I need him to be closer though. Alright, the heavy machine gun. Alright. Yeah, that was a mistake. Alright, you can actually change directions in me there when jumping. That makes it a good game already on my book. Alright, now we're gonna use the heavy machine gun to finish him off. Toilet paper! Cool! So, PSC, 3 out of 23. I believe those are my ranks. So yeah, as you can see, the, the map is kind of big. And unfortunately, there is no way to, to tell how many of these levels you have been so far. So, it will be difficult to tell how long will be left of the game as we progress. Mission 1, hurry on. And more plain action, as you can see. Again, it's... I, I'm sure it's gonna be like a common thing. To ride on different, dif different vehicles and change the... the game modality... all the time. I actually like the Vulcan better than the missile. Oh, and of course, I still get hit in the process. So I wonder what happens if I actually lose here. Do I completely die or become a prisoner and I have to escape from the prison camp? Cactus! Oh, none of those things gave me extra energy? Shit. This thing does though. Yeah, I got extra bombs, which you basically shoot by pressing the other button. I apparently have many of them. Okay, I got the, the heavy machine gun. No, oh, never mind, those are missiles. Oh shit. And that's the end of the level. Oh yeah, I should have warned you about this. That was really, really painful to my eyes. No kidding. And apparently that happens every time you basically make it to the end of certain levels. Oh, there is an X actually. That's a good indication actually of me beating this each level. Okay, m never mind. I guess we are going to be able to tell how long or how much of the game is left. Mission 2, slicing through the jungle. Oh, look at that, bees. A classic. That's weird, my default weapon is the H. And in the regular games, the H is the, um, the heavy machine gun. But in here, the M, at least when you are playing as Marco, is the heavy machine gun. But when you are riding the plane, the M is missiles. A little strange. I mean, it will be kind of difficult to tell which is which, which weapon is which. I guess it will be a matter of getting used to stuff. There are a lot more um, point pickups here. A lot of items that basically serve no purpose other than points. Yeah, I'm getting the bread, getting the frog, just for points, I guess. Okay, now I got the rocket launcher. Oh shit! I'm gonna say controls are super responsive in general. Very easy to to maneuver. Again, the jumps in me there. 
You can turn around in me there even. Lollipops. I guess the lollipops are for health. Just like those baskets. Okay, those surprise attacks are not cool. Is this a safe spot? I guess so. Yeah, I I knew I wasn't uh, going to be able to proceed until I kill all of those enemies. Pretty much like a beat them up. I think those are enemies, but basically by shooting them you paralyze them. Yeah. Suicidal guy. Okay, I actually missed the chance to get that item up there. I don't know what that is. Teddy bear! That's food. It disappears right away. And as you can see, the soldiers in this game attack you in a variety of ways. Okay, prepare your eyes. Oh, shit! Okay, that was really painful again. My new level, I guess that's Sergeant. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of Metal Slug First Mission.